Hey everyone, this is Sean Herity, Assistant Director of Financial Aid here at Truman College. Today I'm going to be talking to you about your student portal and accessing your financial aid information. You can access your student portal information, your student portal financial aid information by going to the bottom right hand side of your portal and clicking on the view financial aid section, which is down here. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to an account summary overview. So on this screen, you'll be able to look at award statuses, um, your net awards, and the dispersed awards for your student financial aid. These are all highlighted in these sections here. So your award status, whether you've accepted or declined them, uh, your net award, which will be your award for the full uh, semesters or the full spring and uh, fall and spring semesters that you'll be attending, and then the dispersed amounts will be right here. When the dispersed amounts do not match up with the net awards, that means that you um, have a, a following award in which will adjust depending on once you enroll in classes. So what I mean by that is your financial aid is only applicable to those classes that are within your degree program. If you sign up for 15 credit hours that are outside of your degree, you will not receive any funding. If you sign up for um, 15 hours within your degree program, you're gonna be applicable for all the financial aid um, that you are eligible for in that net award. Those awards are always estimated. So if something doesn't match up, please make sure to reach out to our department and we can help explain or guide you as to what those mean. The next section that we'll be looking at is the accept or decline awards. So this is where you can go in and actually manually update whether you're accepting or declining the awards. So here, what you can see is, um, obviously the student had accepted both her federal Pell Grants and then her um, state Illinois MAP Grants. Uh, the important portions of this section are going to be your um, submit, your actions, so if you want to action and accept an award that maybe doesn't have a decision on next to it, um, these are the two buttons that you'll be able to do that on and access those. The next portion of this will be the disbursements. When you click on that, you're going to see how your awards have dispersed to your account, okay? So at times, your summary may not match up with your um, your account, right? Like your account details, the, the finances are a little bit off. That's probably because your awards have not dispersed yet. Specifically, awards coming from the state, so MAP Grant, RISE Act, these awards disperse at the end of a semester. So if you're waiting on an award to cover the rest of your balance, these are the awards that are going to be later on. Pell Grants release within the first few weeks of a semester, depending on when you take courses. So if you take courses in the first, in the 16 week, there'll be a couple weeks after that. Um, but if you do take later courses, it will delay when your federal Pell Grant will be dispersed. But this is a section in which you can check to see what semester your awards are being dispersed and when they have been dispersed. Obviously, this has not been dispersed yet for this student because it is the spring 2021 selection. So these awards have not been released yet. If you want to change the semester, you come up here and click and you'll be able to adjust that semester. Next up, we'll be looking at the college financing plan. This is a separate section that if you're interested in, you can click on this section. It'll take you to an option that'll work you through some different uh, strategies. All right, in your financial aid summary, it will go over your need summary, your cost of attendance, and then your expected family contribution. So in this need summary, what it does is it looks at your estimated cost of attendance, your expected family contribution, and then your estimated need, okay? So the total aid is also um, included in this and then the remaining need eligible. This remaining need can be used in different ways, whether you want to apply for loans, apply for federal work study, or fill it in some sort of other way. There are different ways in which you can fill these remaining needs. Scholarships are another great opportunity, and we'll talk more about those in a moment. Your cost of attendance, this is how it breaks down 
your cost of attendance. So if you're wondering, well, how did they get that $12,804 number? This portion in the portal will show you by a breakdown as to what this all, how this all adds up, okay? And obviously we do not live or work or we do not, you guys will not be living on campus, but room and board is still accounted for because while you're uh, going to class, you do have to pay rent, you do have to eat, you have, you have to take care of all those things that you do on a normal uh, basis. So that is what is included in your room and board. The next section, which we will be highlighting is the expected family contribution. So how this is done is through what you as the parent or as the student should be contributing to your education. And if you're a dependent, what your dependents are also contributing to your education. So in this example, the student is, or the parent is going to be contributing $1,075 per year to the expected family contribution as seen in this. The, uh, the second parent will also, or for the summer contribution, the parent is also gonna be giving $96 for a total of $1,171 of the expected family contribution. So when we go to that need summary, this is how they get that number of your EFC. And this is what also is utilized to tell you how much you're eligible for for the fiscal year in regards to Pell. Next section after this is the finances overview. This is a great tool that once again looks at multiple years, okay? So first, um, you want to see you know what what financial plans are you using okay um, you'd want to click on the using financial aid at the top if you'd like get here the spotlight at the top if you'd like you can see your bills and balances you can check your financial aid status for the 2021 here or the next year if you've already applied now i will say that we are not loading the um, application info until the end of January, early February for CCC. So this information may not be fully up to date at this time. All right. And then as you can see, as you scroll down, you can see what your financial aid status is. Okay. So have we, has Truman received your um, FAFSA? Yes, we have. Have we, um, submitted all requested documents. If you're selected for verification, any of those good things, this student status is green. Um, am I on track academically for SAP? Students that are dealing with SAP difficulties maybe have a flag here, this student is green. Um, have I been awarded anticipated aid? Yes, this should be green. Now, what I will say, if you do have any questions at all about this, just come into our virtual student services and ask an advisor um, who you'll see in that Zoom room. We're able to break this down for you and give you a better up-to-date information, but this is a great way to access your student portal information and get a live uh, overview of how everything is broken down. I know it can be confusing at times, so that's why we always want to offer you that support from our financial aid office. So you could scroll up and down, and then once you're done with that, you go back and you will click on the pending financial aid. This, this section shows you pending financial aid. So um, for the future semester, for the spring 2021 semester, as we're going into, this shows you the pending aid that is this student is eligible for. Um, as I stated, it all depends on the um, credit hours, all that good stuff, your EFC aid changes. So in this example, this is what this student is eligible for. But this tab is where you're going to be able to see um, what your pending aid is for that future semester. All right, the next section is the STAR Scholarship tab. Okay, the first top portion is your STAR Scholarship application if you have never filled one out. Um, this is where you can go to and get these the information for your STAR Scholarship application. Yeah, there's a volunteer information portion which we are not going to go over. Uh, if you wanted to volunteer with the STAR program, you can fill that out. The other section that's important within this STAR scholarship application is the STAR transfer partner consent. You need to make sure that you choose a con, um, consenting school that you will be um, transferring your information to after this if you're eligible for the STAR scholarship and are interested in transferring after Truman College. 
So here you can see this is where you are. Um, first, you want to look at and make sure that your current authorization status is accepted, which is going to be highlighted right here in this section. You can see the last time it was updated. So this student did it in February, uh, February 21st to be specific, and they chose um, a school to be their designated transfer. Turn this on. You can scroll down, choose different colleges that you're interested in and possibly eligible for. The final portion, which I do want to highlight real quick, is the um, star ineligible for aid form. This is for students that are not utilizing financial aid, but have to come here and fill out this form. This is where that form is housed. So if you are need to fill that form out, this is where you will be going to to complete that. All right, let me play here. The next important section is the book voucher authorization. We'll click on the book voucher authorization section. And this is where we need students to go to authorize their financial aid to be utilized for the book voucher. If you do not authorize this, we're not going to be able to, um, you're not going to be able to utilize a book voucher to purchase your books. Now, you also have to make sure that your financial aid is good, you're enrolled in classes, all that good stuff. But this is the final step where you have to authorize. You want to click yes, um, wait about 15 minutes, most likely a half hour for the system to update, and then you're going to be able to utilize that book voucher in the bookstore. That way you can charge your books to your student account and have your financial aid pay for those books. And then finally, the last one we'll be talking about is applying for a scholarship. Now, um, this is a small or a, a hidden area where you can hit the apply now button. It'll take you to our application here at City Colleges. You can search this application through multiple ways, but uh, this is one way you can just access it straight from your student account. Uh, you just hit that apply now button and you are taken to a place in which you are able to apply for all eligible uh, institution, institutional aid scholarships here at CCC. Um, it's a one application stop. So you, you fill out one application are are matched up with any of the scholarships you are eligible for. It's a fantastic program and I would really encourage you to apply even if you don't get accepted for anything because it's about a five to 15 minute um, fill out for the application. You do a little blur blurb about yourself and then you're done. Um, and it's a really great opportunity that many students do not take advantage of. So I would highly encourage you, if you're watching this, to do that. Outside of that, there is the CCC CHA Partners in Education form. That's going to be for a small amount of students. So if that is eligible for you, um, you could be eligible for free tuition and book vouchers. But this is going to be something that you will speak to another program in regards to. But this is where you find it in our financial aid. When you're done with that, you go back up to the top left in the financial aid uh, from this screen. You can go up to the top left and hit back that student home button and you will be taken back to our original screen. And this is where it all began. So when you're confused about where your stuff is, especially in regards to financial aid, it's going to be in that bottom right hand corner where you are going to click on and have access to all your aid awards. If you have any questions, please make sure to reach out to us. You can reach us via phone number, email, or through our virtual student services. Um, outside of that, we are happy to help and assist you in whatever regards possible for these upcoming semester. And as we always ended, one Truman.